It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've got a bit of a strange combination going today from Iceland. Now I was thinking, do I do this or do I go down the conventional route? There is no conventional route today because really, this is very unconventional, isn't it? A lasagna pie, which I thought was really, really weird. But my sister-in-law who lives in Italy, says actually there is a thing like this in Italy so it does exist I was thinking lasagna Italian lasagna which probably that's a British thing anyway and a pie together weird the reason why I'm saying how unconventional this is is because I'm going to be pairing it with some chip shop curry crinkle cut chips 25 minutes in the oven. Let's get them out. Let's see what they look like. I like the sound of these, to be honest. Hmm. I don't have an answer for that. Neither do I. Oh, get out. My goodness me. we go oh <laughs> that is insane my hands and smelling that is just chip shop curry Iceland have just got some amazing butter. amazing combinations haven't they so here's a look at the pie this goes in the oven for oh hang on a minute 40 minutes. Right, what I'm going to do, put the pie in for 10 minutes on its own. Put the chips in separately 10 minutes later. Let's get it all in the oven and give it a taste. Right, here is a look at the lasagna pie with those chip shop curry chips, which are still smelling even better now, now they're cooked. Amazing. Now, I've chosen not to use any condiments on here, no salt, no vinegar. I want to try them as they are. Um, ideally, would I use salt and vinegar? Yes, I would. Of course I would. Here is the lasagna pie. If I chuck it here, you should be able to still see it. I'm just going to quickly whip the lid off it. There you go. And then, of course, get it up to the camera for you. There's a look at it. Getting a fork into the pie. What does it look like? Oh, there's another. Right, okay. So there's the, the lasagna sheet. <laughs> How interesting is that? And then you have a little bit of mince underneath. That is quite cool. I'm going to... Now, I was going to use the chips to dip in the pie, but I'm going to have to review the lasagna pie first. So what I want to do is grab some lasagna sheet, some mince, and some pie all together. Like so. Woo! Hot. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I like lasagna. Um, I cook lasagna a lot because my daughters like lasagna. If I had it my way, I'm more a bolognese person. I like to add a splash of chilli sauce, mix it into my bolognese. So what I find with lasagna is I usually use three sheets in between the mince. Nice, lots of layers, that creamy white sauce. 
is enough for me. It kind of fills me up. And it's quite stodgy, isn't it? Add, add the pastry from the bottom of this pie and you've got something quite it's a bit of a stodge monster. It's a bit of a cab. You know, lots of lots of cabs going on there. You've also got little um, like pen pasta tubes in here as well. I thought it was going to be really weird. It's slightly weird, I'm not going to lie. Some of that pen pasta is a little hard. It's like it didn't like being in the oven. I'm almost crunching the pen pasta in my teeth. Interesting though. Right, here we go then. Let's get one of these curry... Chip shop curry chips in there. Mmm. Yeah, tasty. Mmm. Look at that, look at the amount of seasoning on that chip. It works. Now, here's my thing with the chip shop curry. I normally either grab the tub, pour it all over my chips, the curry sauce, all over my chips, Make it nice and gooey and stodgy. I like a bit of, <coughs> you know, like a, I don't mind a, a sloppy curry chip. My wife, on the other hand, likes the flavour of the curry sauce. But she'll like dip a bit in and then eat it. Which means you'll waste a lot of her curry sauce because you don't like it wet and sloppy. If you're, if you're that way inclined, if you don't like a sloppy chip, but you like the flavour of curry sauce, then these things could be the answer, you know. It's like a dry powder, a dry seasoning that they've added to the chip. And it worked really well. You get that kind of same chip shop flavour, but without the the gooiness, the, the sloppiness. On a personal note, I'd rather the curry sauce all over my chips and, you know, home or, or chip shop cut chips with curry sauce over the top is, is, is every man's dream, isn't it? Nice. Right, next thing I'm going to do Get some of this lasagna pie. Whop it on the cr on the pie crust. Mmm. <laughs> Interesting with this pie crust. It's like a garlic bread top. They've designed it to be like garlic bread so they really thought a lot about this pie iceland garlic bread lid so you've got your lasagna and then your garlic bread lid it's almost ingenious almost ingenious by iceland to come up with this stuff, isn't it? I mean, it shouldn't work. Should never work. In fact, I was a bit like, hmm, reviewing this today. But it, as it turns out, 
It's blooming tasty, especially with that lasagna sheet. Mmm. A really good breakfast today on the channel. A really good breakfast. And I think I'm about ready to rate it. This should never work. This combination of food, I put it together as a bit of a, ooh, look at this, you know, lasagna pie with chip shop curry chips. On paper, it doesn't work. But somehow on the plate, somehow on the plate, this comes together really well. And I've actually enjoyed it far more than I thought I was going to. <coughs> the Pioneer's Pie from Iceland, I've got a cottage pie to come. I've already done the chicken Kiev pie last month. <coughs> um, I like them. They're interesting. They're unique. They're a bit of fun. I like a bit of fun in my life on a daily basis, you know? Even when it comes to, you know, when it comes to beer, I like reviewing strange beers on the perfect draft. We've got, we got a great keg coming on the perfect draft, by the way, soon. Um... Fun stuff. I like doing fun stuff like this. It, 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 it puts a little chuckle in, in my daily life. A little bit of a laugh. Pie is great. Chips work if you prefer a dry coated chip shop curry rather than the sloppiness. It all works. For me the pie gets an 8 out of 10. And the chips get a 7 out of 10. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, cheers.